Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you how to put parental controls on really any iPhone out there. As long as you're on iOS 12 or newer, I believe, you should be able to do this. So to do this, what you want to do is you want to hop inside of your iPhone settings application like this, and we're going to go under screen time. So under screen time, we'll basically have to turn on screen time. And you can see it tells us a lot of different things, but one of these things is content and privacy restrictions. So we can go and click continue. We can go ahead and specify whether this is my iPhone or this is my child's iPhone. So this is the child's iPhone. You want to go and click here and you can go and set this up. So first of all, downtime, you can set a schedule for time away from the screen. Your permissions will be required to allow more screen time. So calls, messages, and other apps you want to allow can still be used. So from here, you can go and click a start time or end time, and you can go and click set down time. If you don't want to set it up now, you can go and click not now. You can also set app limits. Now what this does is it'll go ahead and limit the amount of essentially time a person can go ahead and actually use an application. So in this case, if we want to go and bucketize, you know, all apps and categories, well, we can go and set up a time. But if we go and uncheck this one, or if we click social, for example, we can go and select a time amount down here of how much time we want the specific user to be able to use these applications. So we can set it for one minute. You could probably set it for a little bit longer. I'd probably go for like an hour or whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter. And from there, what you want to do is you want to click app limit. So we'll just click not now. And you can also set content and privacy restrictions. And here you want to go and set a screen time passcode. So in this case, we'll just set a bunch of zeros. And from here, from here, you should be able to get into a panel like this. Now at this point, this is where you can go and specify things across the board. You can turn off screen time if you want to, but from here, you can go and create app limits for, you know, your kid or whatever you're setting it up for. You can set it up for your kid or whoever you're setting it up for. You can set it like downtime, basically everything we had in the beginning with you can specify it here. And that's pretty much it. From there, you should be able to set up a little bit more control. And I would recommend finding out which specific applications you want to go ahead and kind of, you know, essentially a limit. And you can pretty much go from there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.